Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video. Today we're going to be learning all about some of the coolest mods that are available for Valheim. We're going to cover all sorts of mods in this video, from mods that allow you to attach carts to boar, other mods that just make the Valheim experience more enjoyable and Valheim-y, and then even some mods that totally change the game itself. And if you stick around to the end, I'll show you mods that I have a feeling might end up in the finished game. Before I start showing you all the mods, there's a few things you need to know about mods in Valheim. For the most part, you can only use these mods on PC. However, some of the mods I'm showing you are technically playable on Xbox because you can join a PC server that has the mod from the Xbox. There's two main places to get mods for the Valheim game, from Thunderstore or Nexus mods. And almost all mods created for Valheim use this mod called BepinX Pack. It's basically a framework to make modding Valheim much easier. Just as a quick disclaimer, don't think you can just install all of these. And some of them change the gameplay so much that you can't use them with other mods. First, we're gonna cover the mods that sort of totally change how you play the game. Now, one of the coolest mods I've ever seen is Valheim Raft. This is a mod that really changes how the game plays. Because instead of having a base and ships, this mod allows you to build on the raft, allowing you to make anything you can imagine and sail your base around. I actually learned about this mod from Jelly Jam Boy's video. It's a really, really good video that you should check out if you want to learn more about the mod. He built a really awesome ship and tells you everything you need to know. The next mod we'll talk about is Epic Loot. This mod makes Valheim more like other RPGs, where there's a chance to get different kinds of drops. With epic loot installed, monsters you kill will actually have a chance to drop weapons that sometimes even have magical affinities. It's kind of like Diablo, and those kind of games. As far as learning more about the mod, I recommend System Collapse's video called Valheim Epic Loot Mod Spotlight. It's two years old, but it summarizes the mod really, really well. The next mod is Renegade Vikings. And there's not too much content on YouTube I was able to find, but this guy, Rijavan, has a video showing this Renegade Vikings mod in action. This mod basically adds NPCs to Valheim, meaning aggressive Vikings and bosses that attack you, also friendly Vikings that can come with you and help you fight, and even traders that you can just find wandering around and sell stuff to to get gold. Next, we're going to cover some of the mods related to building in Valheim. For those of you who want to focus entirely on creativity and building. First, we'll cover Infinity Hammer, which is a really easy mod to understand at first, but then you start to realize just how much you can do with it, and it's kind of crazy. Infinity Hammer takes your regular hammer and then converts it into something that can build any game object in the files. I personally really like Jirok the Viking's video about using Infinity Hammer. He brings up a lot of really cool points about how to use Infinity Hammer. I also have a tutorial you can check out where I talk about Infinity Hammer and Plan Build. And Plan Build, oh, honestly, Plan Build is probably my favorite Valheim mod. It has enabled me to create so many things on the public server that would just be impossible without a mod like this. Planville essentially lets you copy entire buildings, save them, download them, upload them. And this mod is why you can go to websites like Valhemians, find really cool stuff, and then literally download the file and then just paste it wherever you want in the world. But plan build itself is actually so much more than that. Plan build is sort of like three different mods all together. It's incredibly powerful and I can't really go that much into detail in it in this video. The easiest way to think about it is it allows you to create blueprints. So there's actually a way that instead of copying and pasting buildings, that's like a whole separate thing, you can use plan build to have a more vanilla experience, where instead of building stuff with materials you have, you build these transparent plans, and then go out and get the materials and put them in this special chest, and it'll turn these buildings into actual buildings. So it changes how you build. Really, really cool. 
Next, we have another building related mod for those of you who love building and don't want to do the rest of the Valheim stuff called No Rain Damage. As many builders know, when you build stuff and it rains, the wood gets all screwed up and loses its color. And this is really frustrating when you're building things aesthetically. And here's another building mod that isn't about building, it's more about plants. This mod is like Infinity Hammer, except it allows you to plant any plant or tree in the entire game, regardless of whether there's seeds available for that or not. This means you can plant raspberries, blueberries, yellow mushrooms, anything. And next, we're going to talk about some mods that are really useful for those of you interested in running your own dedicated servers, whether the people playing on them are on Xbox or PC. One of the most important mods, if you're managing a server, is server dev command. You see, if you have a dedicated server and you log on to it, it's not actually possible for you to enable dev commands like this. It'll actually not even allow you to. So normally on a dedicated server, you can do none of the dev commands. So this mod, server dev commands, makes it so that you can do all of the dev commands on your server as long as you're added as an admin. Essentially, it means that you'll have the same experience with dev commands on a single map as on a dedicated server, which is why it's so incredibly useful. This means that for your admin tasks and when players have glitches or anything, you can use dev commands to respawn and fix the situation and fly and teleport. And it's just way, way, way faster, allowing you to deal with the sort of community service aspect of managing a server much easier. And then we have the upgrade world mod, which I've made lots of content about because of how incredibly powerful this mod is. Kind of similar to plan build, this mod has way, way more features than I could cover even in an individual video. It's beyond useful. This mod is primarily used for people who have an old Valheim world that has like this kind of mistlands. Believe it or not, that's what the mistlands looked like before the update. It was there, there just wasn't any reason to go to the mistlands. So if you have this on your old world and you want to update everything to the new Mistlands, then you can force that to happen by using this upgrade world mod. This mod also allows you to do all sorts of other stuff, such as re-rolling chests. You can actually change the kinds of things that show up in the chests. It's totally customizable. You can also use the mod to respawn locations. So if you cleared all the goblin camps in an area and you want goblins to be there again, you can use the mod and it'll remake all of the goblin camps. They won't look the same, but they'll be in the same place and they'll be repopulated with monsters to fight. The same also applies with all other locations in the game, such as tar pits and dungeons and crypts. And this brings us to Or Runneth Evermore, which is sort of like a plugin for the Upgrade World mod. This mod, allows you to respawn silver, copper, tin, and iron. And for any of you who run servers know, once enough people have been playing on your server, the beginning area gets totally stripped of copper and the mountains run out of silver and it becomes really hard for people to find resources. Not with or runneth evermore, with this you can automatically respawn them. It's really, really useful. Trust me. Now, the rest of the mods in the video are more quality of life mods. These are all mods that don't totally change the game. They try and make the game more fun without changing how you actually play it that much. Probably the best example of this philosophy with modding is the Valheim Plus mod. Valheim Plus enables you to do things that you'd need like 20 other mods to actually do. Most of the features of Valheim Plus are around making the game sort of more convenient and minimizing the item management and UI clutter. Some of the favorites are that you can change the inventory so players have a lot more inventory space or chests have a lot more inventory space. And the coolest feature in my opinion is that it allows you to enable crafting from chests. This means that as long as the chest has the thing you need in it, you can craft what you need from the workbench, even with an empty inventory. You can just build what you have. 
Now, that was the Valheim Plus mod, which I really skimped over. It has a lot more than what I just showed you. We're gonna move on to all the other mods that focus on quality of life. The rest of the mods in this video are really simple mods that focus entirely on one specific thing. And if you stick around to the very end of the video, I'll show you mods that I'm pretty sure will end up being features of the finished game because they're just that good. The first mod is uh, about the mist. I know a lot of you don't like the mist in the mistlands and there's actually a way you can get rid of it. And here it is, the mist be gone mod. This mod completely eliminates mist from the mistlands. Now, that's a little bit of a touchy subject because obviously that hugely changes the game because it removes any reason to kill Yugluth and the mist are meant to make it inconvenient. So just getting rid of that, yeah, the Mistlands is really beautiful, but obviously that's not what Iron Gate intends. They made the Mistlands so that the mist is an obstacle and that's what they want, whether players like that or not. Now let's get into the quality of life mods that are gonna make your Valheim experience more enjoyable. Do you ever feel that you're bothered by how cluttered your inventory is and how much of Valheim is moving items around in your inventory screen? Well, with this simple sort mod, you can press a customizable hotkey and then it'll instantly sort the whole container. It takes away a lot of the mental effort that really was exhausting you before and allows you to focus on the parts of Valheim that you actually enjoy. Next, we have mods that increase the radius of your exploration on your map. But what do I mean by that? Normally, as you explore, your map will reveal a small area around where you explored. But for instance, you see that rock over there? That's too far away, it's not gonna show up on my map. And really, if you think about it, anything your character can see should show up on your map. That's sort of your observable distance, right? But that's not how the game works in vanilla. But luckily, this mod fixes that by allowing you to greatly expand the map discovery radius. And honestly, this makes exploration more rewarding. Our next quality of life mod is all about trees. This mod makes it so every time you cut down a tree in the first two biomes, the Meadows of the Black Forest, then a sapling is automatically going to respawn. But this will only happen if you destroy the tree stump. This mod's actually pretty cool just because it, me it makes it so that the trees keep regrowing without you having to plant them. And that's just nice visually. And that brings us to this mod, Crop Replant. It's basically the same, except instead of for trees, it's for crops. So when you pick the carrot, a carrot starts growing where you picked. Just helps save some time with all of the planting in Farmheim. And speaking of trees, our next quality of life mod eliminates tree stumps entirely. If you've ever paid attention, you'll notice that tree stumps are kind of a pain because they take as much to destroy as the logs do, but then they barely give you any wood. So a lot of players end up just ignoring the tree stumps, making the terrain look horrific. So the tree stump mod just gets rid of tree stumps. The mod makes it so that when you fell the tree, that stump despawns and all you see is the logs. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. So now I'm gonna show you the mods that I think actually really make the game more fun and enjoyable without changing the experience that much. First, we have the Better Wisps mod. This mod is another way to deal with the fact that the mist is really irritating. And if you've actually played in the Mistlands, you might have found that even with the wisp light, it doesn't really get rid of the mist that well. Like the mist is definitely still a problem navigating the mistlands when you have the mist lamp. It goes a bit ahead of you, but you'll find that, yeah, there's a lot of people complaining online. And that's where this better wisp mod comes in. All this does is just increase the distance that the wisp pushes the mist away. So it doubles it or triples it making the wisp actually feel like it works. I personally like the mist, but I do agree that there needs to be a more effective way to clear it. I mean, even if you use the lanterns, the mist is so high that it'll just be above you and you don't get to see the great views of the mistlands. And that's kind of lame. Our next mod is hilarious. I absolutely love this mod because look at this. It allows you to put carts on boar 
and then they'll just follow you. It's like, it's amazing. I love it. If you think that Valheim needs conveyor belts, this is probably the closest we'll ever get. And as you can see here, this will also make it so that you can have boars and locks follow you. You can have your boar carry around carts for you. You could have like three boar carrying carts following you. And that's a great segue into what I think is one of the simplest, most creative mods in Valheim. And I don't know about you, but personally, I found it to be really fun to make paths in Valheim to take the cart down. And I had always asked myself, how can we incentivize players to build more paths? Because it's really enjoyable once you get into it, but there's not much reason to, aside from the aesthetics. But then I saw this mod and it blew my mind. Because what this mod does is it makes it so when you're on a path, you get a buff, reduces your stamina consumption. You see how I can run down this path, right? But eventually I'll have to stop sprinting because I'm gonna run out of stamina. Imagine how cool it would be if when you're on a path, you can just keep sprinting because you're on the path that you made. And that's exactly what this mod does. And this, honestly, I would love it if this was incorporated into Valheim because it would give us an actual reason to use paths. And as I mentioned, I found that making paths is actually really fun. But again, there's like no incentive for it currently. That's why this mod, I think, is one of the most simple but creative mods made for Valheim. And I'm sure I didn't get all the mods, so comment below with the mods that you love to use in this beautiful game. And if you want to see more Valheim content from me and other people, then just like this video and that'll tell YouTube that you like Valheim and you'll get more Valheim videos recommended to you. And if you want to support my work, consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server with my link, JP Valheim. You can get the link in the top of the video or in the description. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.